March Madness 2015 and out of the East region on day two of the round of 32, we have the number 11 seeded Dayton Flyers versus the number three seeded Oklahoma Sooners. And what a game this was. The Sooners had jumped out to a lead early on in this game over Dayton, but then the Flyers would go on a 15-0 run as Daryl Davis bookended the run with some three-pointers, and now it was a 32 to 29 score, a three-point lead for Dayton. But then here comes Frank Booker off the bench for the Sooners with the tray to tie the game up at 32. Ryan Spangler then hit a pair of free throws to give the Sooners a two-point lead at halftime with the score 34-32. Then in the second half. Dayton goes on a run, a 12-0 run, as they were down by three points. They ended up up by nine points with the score 49-40 to with about 13 minutes left to play as Deshaun Pierre hit a tray. But then here comes Frank Booker off the bench once again with a big tray at the right time. It ended the run and made it a six-point game. It was tight, but then... The Oklahoma Sooners said, hey, you want to see a run? We'll go on a run. And right around the halfway point in the second half, the Sooners go on a 13-0 run as they end up taking the lead and going up by six points at this point with about a minute and a half left to play. So now with just a minute and a half left, 90 seconds on the clock, Scootsy Smith with the layup to bring the game within four. But then they would end up having to send the Sooners to the line, and Jordan Woodard comes up clutch from the free throw line as he hits seven free throws out of eight. And now it would be back to a six-point lead with 30 seconds left to play. And in the final moments, we saw another tray from Daryl Davis to make it a four-point game with 18 seconds left. But then Spangler with the dunk to make it back to a six-point game at 72-66. And after a missed tray by Kyle Davis and a defensive board by Deshaun Thomas, even with the turnover, another missed tray by Daryl Davis this time. And this game would end up coming to a close with the final score, Oklahoma 72 Date in 66. So a dramatic game between these two teams. And Oklahoma holds on to advance to the Sweet 16 where they're going to be facing Michigan State. That game is going to be happening on Friday, March 27th. We'll keep you posted on that one. But as for this game, the way Oklahoma was able to win it was a strong presence in the paint. They were crashing the boards. They were grabbing those rebounds off the glass. They out-rebounded Dayton 35-23, to and that was the big difference in this game. As we saw some really good three-point shooting on both sides from both teams. The Flyers hit 11 three-pointers for 52.4% from beyond the arch. And the Sooners hit 9 of 18 for 50% shooting from downtown. And they was pretty evenly matched on the floor. They both hit 22 field goals. Of course, the Sooners with a slight advantage. They shot 44.9% to 43.1% for Dayton. But as I said, the offensive and defensive glass is where the Sooners won this. They out-rebounded the Flyers on the offensive end 10-4 to and on the defensive end 25-19. to Otherwise, it was pretty even throughout the statistical categories with the Sooners just narrowly edging out the Flyers with 13 assists over 12 assists, 9 steals over 8 steals, 3 blocks over 2 blocks. So very evenly matched, but the difference was on the glass. Both teams had runs in this game. I mean, the Sooners had jumped out early as they had a nice lead early on in the first half. The Flyers went on a run, but then Oklahoma went back up going into the halftime. The Flyers got another run, but then Oklahoma with their run at about the midway point in the second half. And once they went on that run, that was pretty much all she wrote. But we had big performances by both benches. Dayton had 18 points from their bench, and Oklahoma had 17 points from their bench. Daryl Davis came off the bench for the Flyers with 15 points, three boards, an assist, and a steal. And Frank Booker came off the bench for the Sooners with 12 points, all of which came from downtown as he was four for six on the three-pointers. He also had a rebound and a steal. 
But as for the starters in this game for the Sooners, Jordan Woodard had 16 points, 2 boards, 3 assists, and 4 steals. Bobby Heald had 15 points, 3 rebounds, 5 assists, 1 steal, and a block. Ryan Spangler had 12 rebounds. He also had 6 points and a steal. And Tashawn Thomas, 9 points, 9 boards, 1 assist, 1 steal, and 2 blocks. So he's 1 point and 1 board shy of the double-double. And Isaiah Cousins had 9 points, 6 rebounds, 4 assists, and a steal. And that rounds out the starting five for the Sooners. And Scootsy Smith had a good game for the Flyers. 16 points, 5 boards, 4 assists, a steal, and a block. But it wouldn't be enough as they weren't able to continue their Cinderella story as Oklahoma puts an end to it as they are advancing as the number 3 seed as they're going to be going on, as I said, to face the number 7 seeded Michigan State Spartans on Friday in the Sweet 16. But as for this game, the final score, Oklahoma 72, Dayton 66.